Mark, three points, a good way to close the season out for you. Yeah, three points, three three wins on the belt, which was important. That was the, the aim today. We wanted to finish in, in the right manner. We've, we've really enjoyed the last few weeks. I, I think uh, it's been a real real focus and, and desire on, on what we want to achieve coming to the end of the season. I think for the most part, we achieved the goals that we set ourselves. To be able to get to the point where it probably felt in ways like a, a routine victory or more of a routine victory where we weren't grinding it out, we weren't holding on at the end, two goals and, and a clean sheet, that must be pleasing. Yeah, that, that's part of the evolution of the team really. Um, I think certainly the game against Scunthorpe when uh, we finally got the win, I think that settled us down and uh, great result at Sutton obviously last time out prior to today and I just thought we had a lot of confidence, a lot more confidence in, in terms of what we want to do. Didn't really panic, uh, no real periods of sustained pressure from the opposition. That was due to the, how we played, so uh, we always carried the threat going the other way. So uh, from my point of view, it, it was a really good performance and uh, the lads got what they deserved. A few of the games early on, we, we all felt maybe we didn't quite get what we deserved here at Valley Parade. But, uh, I think we, we're just getting a confidence in, in what we're doing and that enables us to uh, keep that control I keep on talking about and enable us to see games out when we've got we've got leads. Your goal scorers, Jamie, another goal for him in front of the cop and Lee, I guess great for him to get on the score sheet and yeah. celebrate his new contract. Yeah, great, great for, for Lee. He's, he's had a difficult, not only this, this year but previous season as well through injuries. We, we're going to obviously try and manage that uh, correctly and... and you see when he's fitting well and, and working for the team, he's, he's a real outlet for us and that's really important. So, uh, please, that he's got on the score sheet, that's always important for, for strikers when they when they get on the, the score sheet. Jamie obviously will always be a threat and uh, really pleased for him and I'm pleased for, for Abu Issa as well, coming back. Um, thankfully, after a long, uh, serious injury, if we're, if we're honest, and he's been able to come and just get those a few minutes on the pitch that enable him to, to hit the ground running when we come back. A record-breaking attendance here this afternoon, fourth tier at Valley Parade, the highest it's ever been, mm. broken since 1964. Oh. I think got to you know say thank you to them at oh, the end as well. Yeah, been I good. Mean, listen, since I've walked through the door, I've had huge support from from everybody, and uh, it's it's never taken for granted. It's always appreciated, certainly by me, by the players, everybody connected to the club, uh, and. It's a simple equation. If we if we give them good performances with with performances of desire, um, attacking intent, and, and players committed to to doing the best they can in, in the Bradford shirt, then we'll get a reaction. And uh, everyone, man, woman, woman, and child, will be behind us uh, in this stadium. And um, we've just got to make sure that happens week in, week out um, next year. That, that's the intention from from everybody connected to the club we we know we have the potential to do it uh, a lot of the teams that are obviously this weekend involved in in big games uh, in terms of going up and championships and and playoff games we need to be in the mix and uh, this time next year it needs to be us not other people the season's at its end just on that that you've been discussing since you've come in end of february plenty to reflect on and think about heading into the summer and next season yeah, and I just said to the lad, I thank, thanked everybody because it's not easy when there's a change in management and when you come in late in the season, uh, for them really to embrace what we were trying to tell them from obviously the training pitch and, and come match day, is, it was completely different clearly to, to what they've been asked before and that's difficult for some, some players to be able to make that change and embrace that change but... I have to say, to a man, they've they've been excellent in that regard, and that's not just the players, but the support staff as well. So uh, I, I have no complaints whatsoever. I'm really proud of everybody who's pulled together and and really made the end of the season really as enjoyable as it has been. Finally, a very important day for the football club. How much did it mean to you, to the staff, to the players, to the supports, to everybody, to be able to pay your respects? Yeah, really important. We, we're all very conscious of uh, the impact of the fire not only on the club but uh, the surrounding community as well and and every year rightly so it, it gets remembered and uh, we pay our respects and uh, I like to think the level of performance was at a level that everybody uh, 
that was the, the appropriate level uh, to pay our respects. We will do it again, obviously, on Wednesday uh, when we all come together. But, um, yeah, it's it's a huge part of the club and, and what's happened here in, in the past uh, is always something that players who, clearly the vast majority of the players playing today wouldn't have been alive when the, the tragedy happened. But uh, they will always be remembered if they, they wear a Brad, Bradford shirt.